So the question is, if we're given this electron configuration here, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5, what element on the periodic table does this represent? So there's two ways we can do this. The first is we can just count up the electrons. These superscripts, they're the number of electrons. They're divided into orbitals here in our configuration. If we add all of these up, we'll get 17. This number represents the number of electrons. So we have 17 electrons in this element, and they're spread out in these different orbitals. So because this is a neutral compound here, the elements on the periodic table are neutral, electrons will equal protons. So the number of protons, that's represented by the atomic number. So right here we have 17. 17 protons, so it would be equal to the 17 electrons, that's chlorine. So this electron configuration right here is chlorine. There's another way we can do this. We could look at the periodic table divided up into these orbital blocks. So here, all of these have S1, S2, because the S orbital holds up to two. Then we go 3D1, 2, 3, all the way up to 3D10. D can hold 10 electrons. P holds up to six electrons. So we have P1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We're looking for 3 P5, so 3P1, 2, 3, 4, right here, 3P5. So this is our element here that has the electron configuration that ends in the 3P5. Going back to our periodic table with the elements written, and again, we see that we have chlorine, 17 protons, so it has 17 electrons since these are all neutral. So the electron configuration, 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P5, that represents chlorine. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.